everyone! Welcome back to another episode with me, Belfire. And before I start the video, I want to let you all know I have a Discord now. Had I've had a Discord, and the link to join it is down in the, the down in the description. And now let's get on to the video. Okay. Welcome back to another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved. And today, as you can see, Cryoplasm Lancer. Cryoplasm Melter and the Cryoplasm Dazzle Dazzle Dazzler Turret. I have the automation of polished chrome lens lenses. It takes a long time to make them, so that's why I don't worry, I've set up my defenses fully down there, or at least one part of them. I just need to duplicate it. Actually, no, wait. I have one line covered. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I just need to make my same defensive setup seven more times. Okay. Well, since Arthur is recharging, I should take a little bit of energy, too. I did go ahead and complete the last crowd plasm long range defense laser and now the magma bore I need heme Hemel machine blocks which I assume production let me go all the way down 64 of each I already have one cr of the ones from the crowns Yeah, so I need 64 of these. Magnetic and chromed, yep. Don't worry, I will be heading down in just a minute. No need to worry. I just want to see what I need for this. Why did I say this like that? One magnetic and one chromed. Okay. I mean, that is honestly very easy to get that around. Also... I'm saying this now, I have seen a cryoplasm uh, tendril grow. That is, it is honestly terrifying to watch it grow. I wish I was kidding. It is terrifying. The speed at which it can grow mixed with what it will do to, the, to your character. It's just overall terrifying. And let's check how many of these I need before I go anywhere. And of course, I need, to, for some reason, I need to recharge again. Two, 256. Okay, that is good to know. But, Arthur, you go ahead and charge. I'll head over to the C5 and towards my defenses. So currently, I have that, uh, it grew again. I've over there defended, right there, and it looks like it grew again. Hi. So it didn't grow again? So, okay. Before I started pushing it back, this is as far as I've pushed it back so far, okay? Thanks to a mixture of the melters and the lancers. The melters prevent it from gr continuing growing, and it makes it fall like sand. The lancers are what actually get rid of it. That's what the la lancers do. 
This thing, I don't even know how to get to work. I might need a Mark IV power source. Which, I don't have one on me, sadly. But... But, when I got down here originally, it was touching up there and was, like, right here. And, yes, it looks like I made quick work of it. I just needed to figure out what I needed to do to make quick work of any future cryoplasm progressions on this side. My goal is to push it all the way back to its source, which I'm assuming is right over here. So I could actually attempt to just completely get rid of this one tendril. Like, go systematically from tendril to tendril trying to get rid of them. That is not a bad idea. You know what? Oh. And just for the me in the meantime to clear out some of this. That is right. I need to go up one more. So now I can go a lot further, thankfully. But it is right over cryoplasm, so that means I need to get a little bit crafty with my building. Because the one annoying thing about cryoplasm is you can't build on it. Like, at all can't. So let's go ahead and place that, and then start by placing one of these. And that is not what I... Oh, hey, look! It actually got rid of it for me, so now I can place a melter here. What the melter does, it turns the cryoplasm into melted cryoplasm and makes it fall almost completely like sand. Which is incredibly helpful. But this little span in between here, I don't know if it will get removed with this little laser. I'm probably going to have to set up like a halfway point like right here. So you know what? Before having to find out the hard way, let me go ahead and do it. Because the cryoplasm, honestly, is no joke when dealing with it. Just the speed at which I watched it grow is terrifying. I wish I was recording. Sadly, I wasn't, but... I mean, it spread like the plague. It grew that quickly. Or... Hmm... I'm trying to think of a relevant ref um, comparison. I don't know if any of you play have played Plague Inc. or Plague Inc. Evolved, but basically it spread as quickly as when you got all the transmission upgrades. Um, that's my best analogy I can think of. But that's how quickly it spread. In my opinion. It was, it was... It was terrifying, to say the least. So you are transferring power into you, and you... So let's just have you transfer power into nothing for right now. Yeah, transfer power into the block that can't absorb any power. So I'm actually curious. I do want to see where it actually... S Splits in but into two different lines. Oh. So it looks like right around there. Hmm. Interesting. And you, I can turn on my flashlight a little bit. I don't want to leave it on too much because that could seriously drain my power. I do know I have torches on me somewhere. Yeah, 
I thought I had torch it. Torches. There we go. Hopefully you all can see a little bit now. Please tell me that they all can get rid of this. And the reason I'm leaving all these up is in case it has another growth spurt. So it will remove it all without me having to worry about it. And let's just go ahead and put this one there. And go ahead and move this one also. And... Okay, good. It's not at its maximum range yet. I was actually really worried. And let's go ahead and place that there. Which should start to melt all that so it will fall down some. And make room so I can build another one of these little outpost stations. That's what I'm going to call them at least. And it is the most annoying thing about the crowd plasm. You can't dig it up. But I did actually have a interesting thought. The cryoplasm reminds me of sand, or at least the melted cryoplasm reminds me of sand. The reason I say this is because you cannot build or place anything on top of sand. Which is incredibly annoying, but true. Let's just have this go ahead and get rid of all of the stuff those turrets can't reach. So that's a blind spot right there. That's great to know. Are you going to get rid of this one piece right here? Oh yeah, also, I don't know if you all have noticed, but now my orbital... I don't even know. I don't know the acronym, actually. The orbital cannon. The station. I don't know if you all have noticed, but it says it's at 54.389% because I just did a complete battery drain of all the Mark IVs I have. Which I believe is like 5 or 6. And almost all, if not all of them, were fully charged. Well, I mean, the one powering the quarry probably wasn't fully charged, but... You know what? I'm just going to begin by melting all the cryoplasm. Be and one thing I have noticed, it looks like it spreads across the surface. Very well. But this stuff is probably the scariest thing I've encountered in this game. Well, except for the first time I saw the Overmind and probably the first time I saw those worms. Those two encounters were probably scary at first, but then I realized the worms can easily be avoided. So that took their s the scare of them right out of the equation. And I have to be careful with my head. <sighs> Definitely need to be careful with my head. Let me start by placing these. Because these will actually begin by removing some of the harmful cryoplasm. Then this to begin melting it. 
And that was the wrong block. That's the right one. Wait. Okay, good. Now I have everything back I need. Yeah, it uh, it looks like it hugs the surface. Because this looks perfect. It looks like it would be part of the natural world generation. I just wish I could show you all how quickly this thing grew. I will not forget it. And for now, let me remove the lens on you. Eventually, I won't even need to build the top one because it gets super close together. I do have a feeling this will be what all the cryopla all the tentacles will be like. So if I can go ahead and get rid of all the tentacles, I will be perfectly fine with that. But let's go check the map because apparently it, it gives real time updates. And wait, 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 wait. That is point that is roughly pointing. Oh yeah, also I did add a second jet turbine. Um, I do see all my little in installments of defenses, but a hmm. It says there's still cryoplasm above my main defensive area. That is very concerning. Oh. Okay. So it looks like we'll be going on a cryoplasm hunt. And I don't necessarily need Arthur to find this cryoplasm. I only need him to charge me up when I do f indeed find it. So it says above here. I honestly think the map might not. It might show updates of its growth, not removal. But I mean, the that is pointing almost like directly over here I mean I could be missing something but I I honestly doubt it and let's just steal a little bit of power man does it take a while for me to charge my battery now I mean, it's more, it's more efficient for Arthur to charge my battery, but still, it takes me a while. Okay, this should begin clearing out some of the area around this. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot the organic lens. That wouldn't explain why it was taking so much longer. Okay, now let's set up the melter. That sound effect will always scare me.
activate my jump pack, my jet pack, not my jump pack, my so I don't take damage. And just because I'm crazy, I I like things to be very much so even. Yeah, I don't think it is updating properly. The map is, at least. But I will say, clearing all this out is really awesome to be able to do. It definitely takes a lot to do, but it it is worth it, knowing that your cold, cold cavern climate control center, the C5, will be safe. I'm probably going to just start and stop calling it the C... No, I'm only going to call it the C5 from now on. There we go. I don't know why, but my English has been worse lately. <laughs> and there's another camo bot. Or box, whatever they're called. I mean, it's really easy to spot them walking down here because... They are like a bioluminescent white. It's it's difficult to explain them walking just wild. When they're attacking you, they go all out and try and uh, try their hardest to get you. But when they're not doing that and they're just minding their own business and just simply simply walking it's like a bioluminescent white you can like I'm pretty sure it was over there or over there where the lasers pointing yeah I believe it was like over there somewhere that flies a very far distance it was over there or it was over there somewhere I just saw like five or six of them walking Oh yeah, also that's another thing to add. They travel in groups. Oh wait, they travel in groups. Oh dear. Oh! Well speaking of, there's one right there. And there's a difference between when they're aggroed and when they're not. And they're just simply walking. Minding their own business. And of course there are slimes down here. Of course there would be. Oh yeah, I think I told you all this. I can't remember, but... Last time in the... Well, when we f first saw the ma magma caverns, I did a little digging. I dug further beneath that. Well, there's another cryoplasm vein. Oh boy, and a big one too. I went digging around there, and I just kept digging straight down, wondering if I would fall into anything else, or if I would just simply hit uh, an area where I can't continue walking. Or continue digging. I didn't find it either. I didn't find a new biome. And I could just keep digging down for as long as I could tell. And this one looks like a vet. Oh, there. There. Right there. Um, anyway. Uh, that was a cryobot walking around, if you all couldn't see. Um... Man, this one is massive. It's going to be a pain to get rid of this one. Unless the Dazzler turret will be able to do something for me. Fast Cryoplasm defense can work only work in straight lines. 250,000 power to cr trigger. 
Last Kermit, Planet of the Very Long Range. Okay, so this is has a pretty large weakness where it can only clear in straight lines. Okay. But what I was saying is I kept digging dra down past the magma caverns and all I found was me at like negative 1,400 or so. And my area meter or area indicator, w the where it says cold caverns now, said lost with a question mark same thing when you go above one th f no when you go above 40 meters on the surface but this was negative 1400 meters roughly it said lost um hmm what else ha oh there's another cryobot They are, they are scary in their own, their own right. They are terrifying. Because you never know what is and isn't one. Like this one, I can obviously tell is one. There we go. One shot, good. And now, let me just... Just finish King Rib that little bit. Then I'll pick you back up. Thank you. That's all I needed that one to do. And now I do believe it would be a good time to stop using the melters. Because we're getting to a point where it's going to be dangerous to use them. sense I don't really have let's just go ahead and place one of oh oh dear yep exactly like sand wrong thing okay so pushing it back a little bit that's really all I needed from that for the meantime and now this should allow me to sneak one a A little further in, that should slowly b get power, slowly but surely. Allow me to get power and sneak in there. As long as I can set up a full four, that's one thing I do not want to do is touch this stuff. It drains power just like the magma and it is just a nuisance to deal with so if I had to compare it to anything it would probably I would probably have to compare it yeah to the magma or sand sand is the real annoying one but it does share more characteristics with the liquid magma it still is annoying either way. And let's see, only 10 more Lancers. I don't know how 10 Lancers will be able to get through all that. Well, I mean, I could probably begin stripping away some of these. I mean, I definitely could begin with that. I do have plenty of energy. Even if I need to head back and get a little bit of a recharge or top up. Arthur will be needing a recharge soon, I can tell. But right here, I can place... I will be placing a melter up here. A melter. My femurs. I'll be placing in casts. There, that's going to be that set up. I will probably continue the top line for a little bit, then... Mm, well, we'll see what will have to be done. But my goal is to completely eradicate this line before... This tentacle before the next episode. 
So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that amazing stuff. And I'll see all of you in the next video. And, please, before you click off the video, scroll down into the description, join the Discord channel. Yeah.